The Rudolph toilet seat cover. Make sure y'all think big when you're praying, y'all. There's no prayer that is just too large, you know? You never know. And I have you guys sitting on my new bench. Oh, on to the last box. That's the heaviest box. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Anastasia Mariah. If you are new, welcome boo. And if you are returning, then hey baby. Hey babes, welcome back. Let's go ahead and get into this vloggy vlog. All right y'all, so for real, for real though, I just got done applying this wig to my head. And I'm trying to do this little half up, half down type of situation. The last time you guys saw me, I was in my girlfriend's place and I was still out of town. I am back here in Jacksonville now. Today is Monday, November 27th. I'm back home and I just got off work at five. It's 5.56 p.m. And I went straight to grabbing a wig out of my wig bag. I needed something to put on because I ripped that red wig off. Like it got so matted up and that's not the first time that a wig that was that color did the same thing with the curl pattern. I have a burgundy one as well that's straight or like loose wave and I don't have those issues. I think honestly processing the deep wave hair or curly hair texture, once you process it, it only lasts so long when you're doing that color to it because honey, I'm gonna try to use my silicone mix and re revamp it but it sheds so much that I have a feeling that in the midst of doing all of that and detangling it, it's gonna be so thin. My house pretty much looks the same as it looked once I got home yesterday. I didn't really do too much unpacking. The only things that I unpacked were Nova's things, um, but my stuff is still in the uh, bags and it's literally sitting by the door. And then I at least wanted to, after I did my hair, I wanted to go ahead and either build a nightstand or build that bench. I don't really know what else I'm gonna do after that. So I've been watching First Wives Club. I just started season one. I'm on episode two and it's actually really good. I don't know where I've been. It's on Netflix. Let me know if you've watched that show before. All right, hey guys, I am back. Um, I went ahead and finished up my hair. I just gotta do my baby hairs at some point. I decided to put the top in like a braid so that it can like be crinkly. And then I did four braids in the back so that the half down could be crinkly too. I just ordered me a small little meal from, and I don't even eat Panda Express for real, but I was, I'm, I'm broccoli has me in a chokehold, and so I ordered beef and broccoli with some rice. Damn, bitch. You see Nova up here trying to act like she's not interested, but she's definitely interested. Just a small beef and broccoli with some rice. I figured that would be something to help my belly. They forgot my damn wontons so now i gotta tell them that they forgot a portion of my motherfucking order anywho y'all um i'm just gonna eat a little bit nova's gotta get down because i know how she works babes this girl be slick she be trying to act like well i'm just just sitting here girl not while i'm eating i'm gonna go ahead and eat some of this i haven't had panda in a while but i just broccoli has really been in my in my brain so Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. And they weren't stingy with the broccoli. So I appreciate that. Um, but right now I wanna come back to the camera when I'm doing something exciting. So I feel like I'm sitting in the same spot again. I'm gonna finish watching First Wife's Club and I'll be back shortly. If not, I'll be back tomorrow. The vlog continues. Oh 
holes in my notebook Checking how my hair and my nails look I find myself in the zone And nervous when you're gone I say I'm not home See your face might be my favorite song Should I send an email at home? You're the number one topic on the phone I wonder if you know Do you have a clue? Yeah, yeah, I lay my head on my pillow If you got me staring out the window We will show the stars outside What's the reason why? guys I'm back so you guys were able to see me put together my new bench excuse the bed okay because the bed is still not made but there goes our new bench it fits perfectly against the queen size bed like perfect I am super happy about this bed and it took no time I feel productive yes amen but yeah you guys and i have you guys sitting on my new bench but it has storage inside which i find very convenient i love the fact that it has storage because my apartment lacks luckily it has some extra pieces not sure what they're for um i guess just in case something were to be missing which is nice of them here in a little jiffy i'm going to be taking a shower Tomorrow's gonna be a lot more exciting. I feel productive. I'll probably edit for the rest of the night instead. So, this is all I got for now, but I'd rather you guys see me in something else because I've been wearing pajamas all fucking day other than when I'm like taking Nova out. So, yeah. I'll give you a new scene tomorrow. I will catch you guys on the flip side in the morning. All right. Hey guys, I'm back. Last night, I ended up going to sleep. I edited a little bit, or a lot of it. <laughs> um, and then, woke well, the next morning, which is today, and went to work. So right now, I'm in the kitchen. I'm about to make my, okay, my tea that's going to make me blue. Um, it won't even really be like that, babe. It, it's different. It hit different. But it's 7.39 right now. Honestly, I need to make it now um, because... I need to make sure that I use the bathroom and have everything run through me before I go, end up going to work. I had um, got off work and I called my mom back because she called me while I was at work when that girl know my schedule. Finally getting a moment to decompress because I felt like today I was just pulled in all directions. I was gonna wait for my tea, I mean my hot water for my tea. Nova is right here, get out the kitchen. You're not supposed to be in the kitchen. She crazy bro. Today was a decent day at work though. I try my best to just stay like positive. I am, I remind myself how blessed I am that I try to. I try not to let anything like move me enough to where it like takes my energy away. I've been really trying to practice that. Shout out to TD Jake, Sarah Jessica Roberts. Sarah Jessica Roberts, Sarah Jakes Roberts. Um, and just other people who I may come across, video, rather that's on TikTok or Instagram where they're speaking like you know positive life positive energy high vibrations into your life because you know you are what you consume so as long as you're consuming things that are going to be beneficial to the way you think I feel like there's nothing wrong with that that's just just how I've been feeling lately I just feel very blessed I feel very thankful God's just been looking out for me he's been he's been really blessing me and I just I'm just so I don't want to say I'm content. I'm content with what I have and what he's blessed me with. And I just want to continue to elevate. Make sure y'all think big when you are praying, y'all. There's no prayer that is just too large, you know. You never know. What's for you is for you. Got Your story's already written, you know. I don't know. It's like my testimony because I have been through some things. And I'm just at so much peace right now in my life. I'm at so much peace and I just couldn't thank God more because he was exactly who I spoke to when I asked for peace, when I asked for the certain things that I asked for that he's been blessing me with. Of course, I'm still learning and there's certain things that I need to make sure that I do better at being more sacred and not sharing. I'm just letting my tea bag steep right now. They say to let it steep for like 
one to three minutes, but I usually let mine steep for like five. And then I told you guys I put my raw honey in it. So I'm just gonna leave this here to steep. Yeah, I'm trying to just work on my routine, like squeezing everything in, getting up a little earlier to squeeze all the things that I would wanna get done in a day in. And that's what I'm trying to do. I don't want to f hyper focus on one specific thing because you end up slacking in other things that you, you were consistent in. So you just gotta, even if it's for 30 minutes, right? To work out because right now you just don't know if you'll have the time. I think in my mind, I was like, oh, I need to work out for like an hour, hour and a half. And I don't feel like going and the commute. Like I have to literally like start small. If I can go for 30 minutes, then I can stretch it to 45, right? And then if I can stretch it to 45 and get comfortable with that, I'm like, you know, I can stay another hour. I just want to be comfortable. I want to start with baby steps. Same thing with waking up earlier. Like, I've been slowly setting my alarm back. And I've been doing okay, but I still find at times I just kind of lay in the bed, right? Because my mind's, not, I'm not sure what to do if I were to hop out of the bed right now. Like, there's just, it's not sticking to me. Like, what am I going to do as soon as I get up? I brush my teeth, wash my face, but then I'm like, I can lay back down. Like, what can I do right now? I need to already know when I'm going to bed at night what my ass is going to get up in the morning and do. Just, I just don't know if I can make it to the gym in the morning. That is so hard for me personally. Um, but then it's like once I get off of work, I really don't want to do too much physical stuff because I already work downtown. I got to walk from the parking garage about two blocks to the building and then do that. Yeah. Okay. So I really want to take advantage of the fact that if I'm genuinely just not tired, like if I'm not exhausted, don't go to sleep. And if when I wake up in the morning, I'm actually awake, but I'm just trying to lay there, get your ass up, girl. Get your ass up. So that's where I'm at. Anywho, I'm rambling. So. Hey guys, welcome back. It is your girl Anastasia Mariah. And I am here with a segment where we are unboxing my Christmas decor for my apartment. Today is actually December 1st. And technically I'm already late because we should already have our home decorated. I want to go ahead and film my unboxing of my Christmas decor so that I can go ahead and decorate my place tomorrow. So I kind of have you guys set up in my living room and I have the boxes here. They actually go pretty low. I tried to get it in the frame. Right here is my Christmas tree. I'm not too sure if I need to unbox that or just simply show you guys once I'm putting it up. So I'm thinking that this will just sit here in the box until I open the tree up and we're going. But we have a, quite a few boxes over here, so I wanna show you guys what I got. Let's start off with these socks because these socks were purchased before any of these items came. All these items came from Amazon. Amazon is my friend right now. We're getting along, so I'm gonna go with it. But I did pick these up from Family Dollar. These are some super soft socks, two packs, um, and they got the little grippers on the bottom. So these are the first pair. Okay, and then there's some polka dotted pairs. They don't, they're just like Christmas colors on the other side. As you can see, these have these little grippers and I think they're super cute. Just something to wear during the holiday season. My girlfriend ended up getting me these. Um, I showed them in a basket in her little welcome gift when I came for Thanksgiving. And they say raised by elves and they're like super soft and plush on the inside. So these are another pair and I, they kind of match my hat. I just wish Santa was black. But we're moving on to the fun part, which is the Amazon items. I'm not sure what this is, but the bag's already ripped. So let's open it. And this is the item. I don't know if y'all saw the vlog that I came out with for Thanksgiving, but this item was technically not scanned in by the delivery driver, so it was lost. So I got refund for it, but it's actually here. Okay, so this is my bathroom decor. How cute. So I got this Rudolph toilet seat cover. How cute is this, Ru not Rudolph, but it's like a reindeer toilet seat cover. Cause it's, uh, but he does have a red nose. <laughs> so yeah, isn't this so cute? This is so cute. And then this is, girl, I should look at the picture. I believe this goes on top of the toilet seat thing. Look at his, the ears. This right here, I should pull this up real quick. Hold on. So this is what it should look like. So the Rudolph on the toilet seat, then you have the floor mat, the towel, the paper, uh, excuse me, tissue 
cover and then the thing that goes over the toilet seat water bowl so this right here is the towel okay and then this is the tissue cover and i just i bought a box of tissue because i knew i was going to be getting this how cute and then this is the mat that goes under the toilet seat great size and it has little feet on it o m g i'm gonna have this up probably past christmas so that's that this box feels pretty light so so in here we have okay so this is the mat or my what is it called your skirt for your tree it's like a quilted cream colored quilt let me see if it looks like anything i don't really want to open it yet until i'm putting up the tree it's just a cream colored christmas tree skirt so you guys will see that when i am putting up the christmas tree and these are my christmas dining mats Y'all know I don't really sit at my table, but I did want to decorate my table, which will most likely prompt me to sit at my table. Merry Christmas. How cute are these mats? They're cute, right? Yeah. My style for this year, I'm going for like the traditional Christmas type of look, if that makes sense. Like the flannels, the reds, the green, the black, like a lot of that plaid flannel kind of look. All right, and that was all that was in that box. So this item's pretty, this box is pretty light as well. In this box, I have my Joy lights. They say Joy, let me show you what the lights look like. I'm so excited, I plan on putting this like on my nightstand. So these are the Joy lights. I assume you have to put I assume you have to put batteries in them, but this they come in this little casing right here, and there's a switch, I see. So there's a switch on the back of them right here. So you have to switch every one on, but they were pretty cheap, you guys. They have Joy for $16.99, and then they have Xmas, X-M-A-S, for $11.99, so they're still available on Amazon. This, I don't know, but a box inside of a box. Let's see. Oh, so these are some of my ornaments. I have this ornament set. Like I said, I'm going with like the flannels. I wanted to do some like neutrals because a lot, like the Bohemian, I have a lot of the wicker type of style uh, material in my home anyway. So these are some bows with little bells on the bottom. I'm hoping you guys can see. Sorry if you cannot, but you'll see when I de I'm decorating the tree. These are some of the ornament balls. And I like that they have like the uh, natural kind of string yarn uh, thread type of rope kind of look for these balls too, super cute. It's vacuum sealed so I'm hoping that this was vacuum sealed because there's a lot in here. Let's see. Okay, so this is like the yarn, not yarn, but like the garland that should be wrapped around the tree. It's like a ball of garland that's the flannel color. Red and black, super cute. And then you have, oh, these are the little like um, stockings, the Joy candle or Joy bells, and the little Merry Christmas. Um, so some more hanging ornaments, basically. Aww, look at these. Look out how cute that is. Aww. I'm so excited. This is the Christmas tree one. Look, you guys. Cute, right? What else do we have? The bell. And we have, we have the stockings. Oh, and they got little like mistletoes on them. So cute. So those are more ornaments that I wanted to put on the tree. I like that that's a whole set, super cute. And then this is the bow. I don't know if this is a topper or not. I can't really tell. Oh, it is a topper. Oh, great. Cause I was like, I think I need to still go out and buy a topper. Okay, so the tan should be in the front. And then I believe you're supposed to do something with these 
fluff them. Oh, okay, you're supposed to like fluff them out when they're ready because they have like these wiring in them. So you'll fluff them out like this, if that makes sense. I don't know if you guys can tell, but they have wiring in them so you can fluff them out when you're ready to. They have, they're already folded and pre, they have like, you can stick your finger through. I hope that makes sense. But I think this is so adorable. You can add some detail and it adds some texture, you know? It brings the tree vibe together. House is gonna be a mess after this, but I don't care. Next box. All right, so this is some of my bedding. So these are some, I want it to go with like, oh, these are luxury 1500 thread count, Egyptian quality uh, bed sheets. So like premium hotel bed sheets, but these are like a burgundy color. I thought that I would choose something a little different for the holidays. So I'm gonna change my sheets and stuff out. These are LED fairy lights that I got to hang around the tree. 200 LED lights, warm. I got the warm and there's eight modes and there's a remote control in here. It's powered by three AA batteries. Let me look up the length of these really quick. I'm trying to, oh, here they are. So 66 feet warm and they have remote. So these are the LED lights that will be wrapped around the tree, 66 feet, 200 LED lights that should fit around just fine. And I got fairy lights because I like the dainty look. Hopefully it's enough, but if not, I'll just buy some more lights. And next, oh, I got more ornaments, you guys. I don't know, I was feeling like that ornament set wasn't gonna be enough, so I got some cute little gingerbread men. Oh, let me show you. Let me show you what the pack looks like. You'll probably get an idea in here. Look how cute. Little gingerbread men ornaments. I thought that I would still go with the vibe, especially the color scheme. Oh, and they're like little rubber ones. Perfect. And they have the string in here too. So they have little chocolate ones, little blonde ones, like perfect, right? So cute for the holidays. Hey girl. So yeah, there's a, quite a bit in here. So I'll be hanging these on the tree as well. All right, oh, on to the last box. That's the heaviest box. I'm gonna make sure I'm still presentable. Yeah, I'm gonna sit this down, okay? Cause there's a lot in here. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, so I ordered some ivy, right? The ivy is gonna be hung around, hung on like around my bed to go with the bedding decoration. I heard this has a weird smell. I don't really want to open them now, but they're like ivy leaves. I'll show you what the order should the order looks like <laughs> before I even sit here and start to talking, y'all. But I got a 24 pack of 173 foot artificial ivy greenery garland. So these again, I'm gonna be wrap. I have a canopy bed. You guys should already know by now. I have a canopy bed. And so I'm gonna be wrapping this around or like, you know, just hanging it around. I don't know how I'm gonna do it just yet, but these are what is vacuum sealed inside of here. So I don't really wanna open this until I'm ready to, you know, do my bedding and stuff. But these are my garlands. Oh, my pillow covers. So I ordered some pillow covers to go over some of the pillows that I already have on my couch. I'm hoping these are the right size because honestly, I have no idea. But I'm thinking if they're too big, I'll be happy if they're too big. I'll be upset if they're too small. But I'm gonna try to make them fit. There's four in here. Oh, even better, they come separately packaged. Yes! Okay, so there's zippers right here. You stick the pillows in. So here's the first one. Merry Christmas. I'm hoping you guys can see that. Super cute. This one says, baby, it's cold outside. Oh, how cute. Baby, it's cold outside. And I got the month of May. Let it snow. Let it snow. I said it's cold, but the fog is bringing. So baby, let us know. Off key as hell, but you get what I'm going. This one says, farm fresh Christmas trees with a little truck, Oh, This is another pillow case. 
super cute. So my pillows on my couch will be cute. I got a flannel throw blanket. This is just a flannel on the outside and that super soft, fluffy cashmere feel. It should be, at least that's what I think it looked like. Ah, yes. And so it's just, oh, this is so nice. And it's the white on the, in the inside of it. So let me show you guys. But this is something I'm gonna either throw on my bed or throw on the couch once it is ready to, you know, go. Matches the pillowcases, matches the tree kind of vibe, you know? Next, ooh, I got a comforter set to also go with the sheets and I got a throw blanket. I have two, I got two throws, so I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use, but this is like a, kind of bohemian neutral kind of color scheme it's a tufted queen season beige it's beige um and it has some texture on it so you guys will see once i'm putting this together um what it looks like you can't really tell and i don't want to open it right now i got another flannel blanket but this one is in a holiday forest green kind of vibe babe so let me show you this one Ooh, and this one has some texture. So this is what this one looks like. I'm thinking I'm gonna do this one for my bedroom or maybe just switch between the two. This is like a forest green. It's coming off as blue on camera, but I promise it is green. It's green, a deep forest green, super nice. Super soft, I'm excited, yes. These should be my two pack of like these Christmas trees that are supposed to look like little icicle Christmas trees. Let me show you what they look like before I open them. They call them birch trees. So two feet birch trees, 18 um, LT warm light LED, it's battery power, but these are what the, hold on. That's what they look like, super cute trees, right? They're battery powered, so I think I just gotta end up getting some batteries in the morning. But let me open them to make sure they're in here. Let us know. So it looks like there's two bases that the trees will sit on. And then these are the trees stumps. <laughs> like you just put it in here like this. And I assume you just unbend and like flex it out to your liking. So these are the cute little trees that are gonna go on each nightstand with, one of them will have the joy and then another nightstand will have like one of the holiday candles. You guys would have saw in my last vlog that I showed you guys my Bath and Body Works holiday candle um, uh, order that I got. So I haven't lit any of them yet. Haven't set up any of the hand soaps. I really want to spend time tomorrow and decorate with you guys so you guys can see that. But that's everything for now, you guys. <laughs> Let's make sure I'm not missing anything. I think I showed you guys everything other than the tree. My tree is a six foot tree. I really wish I got the seven foot tree, but I think I was just so anxious. Oh no. I did not get my table runner. I'm gonna just double check to make sure that I'm not missing anything but I think I'm missing my table runner, which sucks because I was really excited to have that table runner. So I'm gonna be right back just to confirm I don't have my table runner. <laughs> yeah, I lied. I think this is my table runner. Let's see. It's gotta be, cause it's thin as fuck. Yes, this is the table runner. I don't know how this gonna look with these mats. It looked way deeper on, oh man. It looked way deeper on the camera, like on the picture on Amazon. Damn. Should I still use it, y'all? I mean, it's just for Christmas. Girl, I was about to say, girl, why I thought it was this short? I said, oh no, ma'am. Maybe it's picking up a lot brighter on camera too but this is it. I still think it's too bright to put with these placemats. I'm not too satisfied with this one though. But this was the last item, which was the table runner. So I did get everything on my Amazon list for Christmas decor. My house is gonna be cute. I'm excited to decorate. And that's all I really wanted to show you guys. I really appreciate you for sticking along. So 
I'm Addy5000. I will see you guys in a little bit. Most likely see you in the morning when I'm decorating after I come back from the store by after getting batteries. I need to make sure I get all the batteries I need because I don't want to make multiple stops and I want to have everything, you know, ready to go. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Fuck the world, I won't walk in erection Spit without a thought, we do it reckless You nigga call us texting You say, baby, don't be mad, you know how great it is Don't open your mouth